Welcome back to part two of our Kronos upgrade kit. Let's begin. Hey guys, Scott Bowersox here again, Team Compass. And we are going to start the conversion. We're just going to get a few of the sub-assemblies out of the way first and then move on. So what we have here first is the landing gear. We have the old on the left and the new ones, of course, on the right, the carbon fiber. We're going to go ahead and just quickly put those together and move on. Alright, so the first step, we're just going to get the skids put together. You just take the attachment here, uh, both these on. These are the 2.5 by 12 screws and lock nuts. They're the bags that have 8 each, so they're easy to find. And just go ahead and put these together. I'm going to put all four of these on and be right back. Okay, with these attached loosely, because they act as a clamp, so you don't want to tighten them up. Also, just want to point out that this has a straight edge here, and the uh, the rear is the part that is curved out. So this goes towards the front for uh, both the front and the back one here. And you're just going to put your skid pipes in. And you want about uh, 40 millimeters of spacing here on the back side. But I'm going to add my pipes in after I get it mounted to the helicopter just to be a little bit easier in case I got to slide these around. Okay, so we got the uh, heli mounted here upside down. I'm going to go ahead and put our bottom plate on. This is the existing one. And with the uh, the Kronos instructions, they uh, they changed uh, this tab that uh, used to mount the canopy. Now it's it's just the two holes like a spacer. Like here's the one for the rear. It's basically just a, a thinner one of these. But I'm going to go ahead and use this since this is what I have, and that goes in between the uh, bottom plate and our landing gear. And then these. The bigger spacers are going to go in the rear. And then we're going to go ahead and mount again with the, the straight edge going into the front. We're going to mount these on the front and then on the back as well. With uh, M3 by 22, I believe, in the back, and then M3 by 12 here in the front. So let me go ahead and put those in and be right back. Now we can go ahead and mount our skid pipes. About 40 millimeters from the end. Right there, and now you can go ahead and mount the uh, the rubber grommets here if you want. You put them on the insides here to keep this from sliding. But the uh, clamp actually works really well, so I'm just going to go with that for now. And while you're tightening these, uh, don't over tighten them. Just get them snug. It's plenty of a nylon locking nut, so you don't have to jam them down. All right, and there you can see you got the nice rake. The nose dips down there, a little higher in the back. Give it that nice look. So if you just want to do the landing gear, it's a nice, quick, easy way to improve the, the look of your helicopter. If you want the carbon fiber look, the canopy still fits on. We still have the tab there and ready to fly still. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and get the canopy prepped. And you just take these uh, standoffs. And I recommend go ahead and just slide the, the rubber grommet off. And we're just going to put that in the hole here. Recommend, uh, if you're having any trouble, just a little uh, hot soapy water will loosen these up and you can get them inside. And then we're just going to slide this back in. On mine, I did have to trim the uh, the hole a little bit just to make sure that this would fit through. 
so you may have to just adjust that I recommend a uh, a reamer tool specifically for the job or just be careful with an exacto knife as I went and did for now and we'll just put these four on All right, now you can see we got all four of these on, and these are ready to go. We'll set this aside and move on to the next thing. All right, the next thing I want to do is go ahead and put on the frame supports, and these here included with the kit are going to go on there, and then over here, one for the left and right sides, of course, and then it's also got a spot for the canopy uh, standoff, which is a breakaway design. So you can see that's going to mount up here, and if this breaks, you just break maybe this tab, or even if you break this whole piece, you're just going to take this off and replace it instead of, say, the lower frame or anything else like that. So it's definitely going to help save some replacement parts and costs. So what we want to do is go ahead and grab one of our standoffs, and then the included uh, hardware, the uh, I believe it's an M3 by 10 screw and we're going to go ahead and double check our orientation here again going into aluminum so you want to go ahead and put your Loctite on and all four of these are the same so you can use any of the standoffs here to work Go ahead and tighten that down. And then we're ready to install it on that. So I'm going to go ahead and take these screws out and use the included screws. Uh, there's some little two and a half by sixes that are going to go here on the, uh, the battery tray rail. And then there's uh, M3 by 10, I believe, as well. It's going to go down in this one here, so you get to use uh, the new screws. Right, there's the front one, and now we'll take the uh, boom supports off here and put on the other one. And this does come with new bolts, so I'm going to go ahead and use those. Okay, so when we put the new one on, we have the the piece that's going to go here and we're also going to put in, there's a new spacer so you don't need to use the old one since that's uh, got the extra carbon fiber this one's a little bit narrower As you can see it's a smaller one so we're going to go ahead and use that new one along with the new M3 by uh, 20 screws or bolts to go ahead and put that in so let's go ahead and do that I'm going to use the old washer I had on there before. It didn't uh, come with one here, so I'm just going to reuse that. Check that angle. that started and then I'm going to go ahead and replace the other two up here for those interested in the, uh, the wire here it's a ground wire that I have running from the, uh, the tail boom to the uh, motor mount 
to go ahead and avoid any static issues. I went ahead and just braided it. That's all that is. Snug those up. And then that part is done, folks. Next, we're going to go ahead and replace the uh, my old uh, quick release mounts with the new ones here provided. They're a different size than on the old ones, a little bigger. And I'm going to go ahead and do that, and of course, replace these on the other side. All right, so I got the rear canopy stand up mounted as well now, and I did the other side the same here and uh, one of the things with this nut on the back if you're having trouble getting at that like I do because I got some wires in this servo over here is when you take off the uh, the bearing blocks here if you're doing the full conversion that's going to be a really good time to get at that before you put this back on so just keep that in mind I just wanted to show the whole thing with just the optical here version first so I went ahead and just stuck with it for a little bit and I was able to get at it but now we're able to mount the canopy, but before that, the old uh, canopy standoffs here um, that we all mounted the uh, landing gear covers and stuff to, we're able to remove this now. We don't need this with the new canopy, so I'm going to go ahead and take, take this off. And then just take the bolt and put it back in. Put the washer on there. And now we can put on the canopy here. Well there, that's the optical version then. Again, the only other thing is just I mounted the, the tail fin there on the back. Got the landing gear, the new braces, the canopy, and we're ready to go. I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned as I go ahead and we work on putting the, uh, the technical part of it on. We'll put, take the head apart and put that back together, put the bearing blocks on and everything else, and we'll have a full Kronos. Thanks a lot, guys. is if you're doing the full conversion when you remove the 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 ah. <laughs>